Dr. Jen's here with us now. Question, what are some good anti-inflammatory foods? I love this question because it really makes us realize that things are packaged or marketed or promoted as you know having some kind of benefit, but in general, there's not a lot of good nutritional science data to support that. So it's, it's an overall approach to eating here, which I like because it can be fit into anyone's style uh, of what they eat. But in general, we're talking about fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts, extra virgin olive oil, fish, all of those things have purported anti-inflammatory benefits. But remember, when we talk about the way these are studied, you can't study one ingredient in isolation, right? Because we're combining our foods with other things and it's going into a, a huge individual. So that's why I think it's a holistic approach Eat from the farm, not the factory. Well, is that big in the uh, in the Nutritional food industry? Science. I mean, do they, are there yeah, a lot of places of course. And you anti inflammatory that, this? Absolutely. And it's not just a marketing thing. It's, right. you know, even in science, you hear this in, in articles and TV segments, but really it's an approach to eating rather than one specific food. All right. And this got Robot's attention a moment ago when she heard your prescription for wellness had to do with core strength yeah, core and strength balance. And balance. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So, a lot of people, when they think about their core and training their core, we think of what? Right? The crunch, the sit-up, the plank. It's really important. I learned this from my friend Harley Pasternak, the celebrity fitness expert. Train the entire core, meaning your back, your front, your side. So um, balancing, what I like to do, brush your teeth on one leg. You will see how difficult that is. That is engaging your entire core. Don't fall over. Um, but that can really help. Focus on the obliques. If you look at an anatomy sketch of your core and your midsection, those are really important muscles to train um, and, and serve a vital function. And then train your posterior chain. That is your lower back, your glutes, your hamstrings. All of that helps your core. So my favorite exercise for that, just lie on the floor do a Superman pose, hold it for as long as you can, arms and legs off the ground. They don't have to be raised that much, and you're really getting that whole back. Do you, do you use mouthwash while you're no, doing you that? No, you do not have to gargle <laughs> while you're doing that. Right. That's an advanced maneuver. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Folks, keep your questions coming to us at ABC GMA 3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.